he has, he chatters on. And he's gotten so creative with chattering, he actually used spurs and stuff like that to, to, to dog track on the surface of his clay. And he gets beautiful patterns. Everything's about the surface. Well, you know, he was, you know, an influence on me beginning to want to really alter the surface and stuff like that. Uh, some of you have thin bottoms. Uh, is there a little cap, uh, like a baby jar cap or something like that? What about a cap right here? That's too small. No, a bigger jar cap. Right now, I'm going to snap a cap. Is the Arizona tea big enough? Yeah, that's fine. This this no, that's about. Yeah, that's great. That's perfect. Yeah. Super. Uh, start looking for little baby mayonnaise jars or something like that. Put it right in the center. It disperses the pressure. And so, if you have a, a little bit of a sensitive spot, uh, it actually carries the load out to here. And so, you can uh, you do that. And you watch how I can take that. I know it's not centered, but it's close enough for government work. But look how close I can get, see? And then after you do that, you can go back and you can center. And I know, I'm sure some of you have little levels that you carry around and put on top of your pot. Do you want one? <laughs> I knew you were going to say, out of everybody in class, I figured you'd have one. Okay, now, right now, I've got it about where I want it. So then I'll come back. Put a little bottom on it. And I use my fingernails a lot for things like, like right in here, if I want to compress right in here, I take my little finger and do that and I get it nice and smooth and on the bottom and then I'm going to chatter on this but what I do for mental exercise is I was telling somebody that my degrees are in three-dimensional abstract theory and all that stuff I'm, I told you on yesterday so I do this little fun exercise that I really have a lot of fun with I take this tip and this tip and I just indiscriminately I something. saw that on your mug. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's something that you, like your signature. Well, it's mm -hmm. kind of like... It is. I saw it on the Yeah. I, I've been doing it for a long time, but what it does is I never make the same design on the bottom. And I'm aware of that when I start, so that's my little recess from making the same damn shape 20 times. I have more fun on the bottom than I do making the piece. The, the piece is a no-brainer. I'd build an inventory, but to get to play right here, it's kind of nice, and I use the dots. Sometimes we forget what people don't see immediately. Mm -hmm. This is like a surprise. It's a and what happens is, you're absolutely you're right. Like, oh, right. And what happens is, when you have someone that you... The biggest thing, problem that we have is, we have to captivate the visual excitement of a person all the way from 20 feet out, hmm. all the way to the surface. At any point, if they lose interest when they're moving up to your piece, they're not going to buy it. They're not gonna, they, they might be nice and go up there, but they've already lost interest. A lot of times, I'll take a piece and I'll watch them, I'll put it out there, and they'll, they'll be, mm, that's a lot of money for that. And they'll put their hand right there and they'll feel something and they'll turn it over and they'll nudge the person next to them and if they ever do anything like that that pot's so it's so you know and uh mira matheson from british columbia she does uh she has these wonderful little miniature uh imprints that she's made with clay that are concave and she doesn't trim the inside of her vessels she literally taps it in there and it, you know, goes in like that with a little pattern on it. So think of, think of, be as creative with your pot all over it as you can.
but you don't want to take away from the pot. But when you have an opportunity to do something like that, it's kind of fun. Now I'm going to show you about this chattering. Um, I think this will work. And I, this clay is barely dry enough, but watch. See the pattern that's beginning to make on it? Yep. Now let's let's go with this. this, this I think it's too wet. I don't think it's gonna. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, beautiful. And look at that. Yeah. And all of a sudden, what would normally you would worry about being trimmed, that's a great, that's a great, that's good, hold on to it. It does a fun thing. And uh, sometime today, I'll throw a smooth surface and you can work on the top part. And it's really exciting. 